Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about other angle relationships that happen outside of the circle. Alright, so here are the three cases where you can have angles that happen outside of the circle created by different geometric shapes. This is a tangent and this is a secant. This is two tangents. These are two secants. Okay, one thing they have in common that I want you to notice is as the angle opens up, there are two arcs inside the angle, a smaller arc and a larger arc. So as this angle opens up, the circle is split into two arcs in this case. The large arc, smaller arc. Inside of this angle here, you have a large arc and a small arc. All right, they all share the same exact formula. Okay, so the angle is equal to one half, all right, of the big arc minus the little arc. Okay, the only thing that can go inside here are arc measurements. The angle measurement goes out here. So this one here would be like angle one is equal to one half, okay, arc AB minus the measure of arc AC. This would be angle 1 is equal to 1 half. Now this is a major arc so we have to use three letters. Okay, That's the difference. We're going to use three letters TYR minus the minor arc in red which is TR. This one would be angle 1 is equal to 1 half of the big arc in blue CD or DC minus AB or BA. Okay, pretty straightforward. Arc measurements go in here, angle measurement goes outside. Let's try a couple problems. For each of these problems, pause the video, see if you can do the problem, then come back and check your answer. I'm going to go through these pretty quick. All right, angle one is equal to one half of the big arc, AB, minus the measure of the little arc, AC. So now we're just going to plug in. Angle 1 is equal to arc AB, 165, minus 73. Angle 1 is equal to 1 half, do inside the parentheses first. And then you're going to take half of the 92, which is 46 degrees. Okay, that looks like an acute angle, 46 degrees, pretty good problem. Problem two, hit pause, see what you come up with when you come back. All right, so we're going to have angle one is equal to one half of the big arc, TYR, minus the little arc, TR. Now this is a special case because if you take a look at this problem, they only give you one measurement there but we know the two arcs of a circle add up to equal 360 degrees so the first thing I should do is find out what that blue arc is by going 360 minus 98 which is 262 that makes sense this is 262 this one here is 98 so now we're going to plug that in here angle 1 is equal to 1 half of 262 minus 98 which is 164 Angle 1 is equal to 82 degrees. Okay. Next example, hit pause, see what you come up with. First thing is we should always write formulas. Angle 1 is equal to 1 half of arc CD, the bigger one, minus the little one, which is AB. And then we're going to fill in here. Remember, arc measurements go in here, angles go over here. So AB is 47. Give me this. So it sets up a little different. That's okay. We're just looking for a different portion of the problem. All right, so for this, what we want to do is get rid of this one half first by timesing both sides by two. So we're going to times by two, times by two. That gets rid of this over here and makes this. 90. Great little trick. 
Okay, now we got arc CD minus 47, so we're going to add 47 to both sides. So arc CD is 137 degrees. So this is a 137 degree portion of the circle. All right, hit pause. These are a couple of different cases. Same exact problem, but looking for different parts. See what you come up with. All right, we're going to say angle JKH. Here's angle JKH right down here. Okay, three letters sending this angle. Angle JKH is equal to one half of the big arc, IH. That's the bigger arc, minus JH right here. These two problems are exactly the same, so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Okay, so JKH, they tell us, is 33, 1 half. IH is, uh, well, that's what we're looking for, minus 85. Over here, we're going to go 33 equals 1 half. IH, they tell us, is 151 minus JH is what we're looking for. So notice this one we're looking for the first arc. This one we're looking for the second arc. So slightly different ways to solve this. First step is going to be the same times both sides by 2. Add 85 to both sides. 151 equals IH. Come over here, times both sides by 2. Okay, now here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to subtract 151 from both sides. That makes this negative 85 equals negative JH. Let me pull that up here a little bit. Negative 85 equals negative arc JH. We're going to divide both sides by negative 1. Cancels out the negative. Negative 1. So that means arc JH is... 85 degrees. So a little tricky there. Okay. Do a couple problems, you'll get it. Let's try these two. Hit pause, see what you come up with. All right, angle ACE. Here's angle ACE. I like using three letters sometimes. Just mix it up on you guys. Angle ACE equals one half of the big arc. AE minus the little arc that's inside the angle, BD. Okay, this is the same. Just show you different ways to solve these problems. Alright, so this is going to be 26 equals one half of AE minus 50. This one's going to be 26 equals 1 half of 102 minus BD. Okay, see if you can pause and finish that up if you haven't done so already. Times both sides by 2. Okay, they're all going to get solved the same. Add 50 to both sides. So this is 102 equals AE. Next problem times both sides by 2. Okay, here's where it gets a little tricky. Subtract 102. So they cancel. Subtract 102. That's negative 50 equals negative arc BD. Divide both sides by negative 1. Get rid of that. And you get 50 is equal to arc BD. One more problem. 
hit pause, see if you can solve the problem, come back and check your answer. All right, angle NOP. The south side angle is equal to one half of the big arc, which is NMP. We have to use three letters because this is a major arc, more than half the circle, minus the small arc, which is NP. NP, or PN, okay, they're both the same, is 127. So, if they give you 127 to find this other side, you just do 360 minus 127 and we get 233. Angle NOP is equal to one half of 106. Angle NOP is equal to 53 degrees. All right, go back and look at these examples. Hopefully you found this presentation helpful and we'll see you on the next video.